So hey there and welcome back. My name is Kristen. Um, I'm the owner of KRM Illustrations. I am a, well, illustrator by Troy. Um, if this is your first time, hi, welcome. Today we're having some fun. This is a speed painting, drawing, whatever of uh, me monkeying around with my airbrush. I'd never used an airbrush prior. Uh, this is actually my first time, even though, funny enough, I've owned one for years. It has just been intimidating. A lot of tubes, a lot of things I didn't know exactly what to do with. And this time I just kind of went with it. Anyway, so this was like the first real big meaningful piece that I did with like a lot of airbrush. And, and like as you can see, I'm just like going to town with this. Um, definitely learn that the it's not a bad thing if I start it with like a painted flat piece. Probably going to be a little easier on the paint. Um, but at the same time, it gives like a nice thin coverage. And I could do this on a marker paper essentially. Like I can do this on a much thinner paper than I thought I could. Um, that I normally wouldn't be able to paint on. This is actually on like a hard bristol and it just held up perfect. It's honestly like one of the go-tos right now. Um, so I, I cut out a stencil that I just kind of doodled really quick. Decided to do something kind of seahorsey. I have no idea where I came up with the idea with this. I just kind of went with it. Um, I do a lot of sea creatures. I actually have a, uh, a small saltwater tank um, it's only got like a couple clowns in it. Um, there's a blue damsel in it. A uh, six line wrasse. A couple little emerald crabs. Um, so not like a, a huge amount. It's only like a 30 gallon or a 35 gallon. Yes. Um, but still fun. Now seahorses were one of those things that I like kind of wanted. Until I found out exactly how pain in the butt they are to keep. Like they... They're one of those creatures that like I have no idea how they stay alive as well as they do in the wild Because like they cannot really swim for something that is in the water You'd expect them to be stronger swimmers, but no, no I have to have a uh, very still water in an, a salt water environment Which means that they're like tide pools and lagoons mostly They're also not the fastest thing so like predators can pick them off pretty easy uh they tend to stick in shallow water, so birds, um, yeah. Oh, there's actually, honestly a lot of things in the ocean kind of like that, that are like questionably useless creatures on the outside, but uh, somehow they just keep on going. Um, so all this is just in ink, and I used a dip pen for all like the smaller lines after I got the basic shading with the airbrush in. It was a ton of fun. I got to monkey around with a whole bunch of new uh, nibs that I got for my dip pen. Um, funny enough, I, I got some deleter nibs and I hadn't used deleter pens since I was like a kid because they were like the only ones that I knew of back in the day. I was really into manga drawing. Um, but now all I could find was the speedball ones. The deleter ones are thicker. They hold more ink. And overall, I think I like them better, especially the fine liner, so much better. Um, but that doesn't mean the speedball ones are bad. They're not. Like, they're entirely serviceable. I'd have been fine without getting the other ones. I just wanted to try them. And now that I've tried them, it's kind of hard to go back. But I still do use both of them on occasion. They all give slightly different lines. Same thing with, like, I have some more expensive inks, and then I have some very very opaque inks that are almost like a paste and then I've got some that are like really crappy black ink that turns more of like a bluish color than a black that turns out really nice for like background shadows and stuff so this is the pretty much the final piece right here I'm just like adding little final highlights and everything on it this whole thing was done in two sittings uh one to spray and dry and then all the lining was done in the second day um, overall not too bad would try again in fact I have I've got a few videos coming up next um, so if you haven't a chance definitely please uh, like subscribe follow me for more of this uh, arty fun times 
and I will see you next time. Bye.